On the back page of the National Post, hidden away at the very, very last page of the Financial Post, on January the 18th, there's an article, Oil Sands Money Trail. And it talks about the billionaire U.S. foundations that fund Canada's green groups that are actually opposing the um, Gateway Project, Northern Gateway, and the pipeline to the United States. They're celebrating their victory, and it would be very interesting for you to know and I'm grateful to Vivian Krauss, about whom I have never really heard very much, for investigation at her own expense into all these American foundations that are funding the Green Movement, particularly in British Columbia, in what's called the Great Bear Forest. And First Nations groups in BC have been granted at least 50 million by US foundations, 27 million from Moore, uh, 19 million from Hewlett Packard, and seven, several million from other US foundations. There are a number of great bear rainforest projects um, where the American foundations fund the Great Bear Rainforest Initiative and the Pacific North Coast Integrated Management Area and the Boreal Forest Initiative. Uh, of the US 300 million that she's traced, at least 150 million were specifically for the Great Bear Rainforest Initiative. These nebulous concepts give me some interesting questions that you should think about from a Western Canadian perspective. And here's the first question. Um, what if, and I'm not saying this is the case, but it could be, uh, some foreign government decides to fund local groups to protest things which are in their financial interest and not ours? Think about it. What if American oil companies with sources of supply outside of Canada were interested in stopping any Canadian oil coming, of course, from the tar sands, as they're called, the uh, boreal forest, which is actually being uh, a very small area compared to what they tell us. Uh, it's not the size of England. This area uh, needs to be developed and can be developed to the benefit of Western Canadians, but it will not as long as these American initiatives uh, prevent it from happening. And what if those American initiatives were in fact interested in their own economic benefit derived from domestic or other sources that were even more expensive? America is not going to quit using oil, but it's not going to be using our oil. And then they want to prevent us from selling it also to China. Well, my friends, if Western Canadians are interested in their own future, they have to look at the background of these groups funded outside the country and who's funding them. And at every single uh, public inquiry into the Northern Gateway Project, the people making uh, submissions against the development of that pipeline and the, the development of all those jobs should be asked one question, and it should be under oath, what is the extent of your foreign sourced funding, directly or indirectly, to your organization? That should be a primary prerequisite. What if they were funded from Iran or from some hostile environment? And they could be. Why shouldn't they be required to answer that very important question? If they are an indigenous, and by that I mean from our own uh, land raised uh, in terms of funds, uh, organization, it's one thing. But if it's actually a, for, a front for a foreign financial interest, why shouldn't we know about that when we assess the credibility to be given to organizations that advocate public policy positions within Canada or within Western Canada more, more effectively and more actually? Because, of course, the only areas that are really capable of supporting the Canadian economy today is the resource industries, natural gas and oil in Western Canada. So it's vitally interest of our vital interest to determine what happens to that and to be able to export it and get the fair and full market value for it on the world market rather than have these uh, foreign funded organizations stand in the way of the jobs for people in Western Canada. So we have to free the West and know who's behind the organizations stopping our own development.